you guys uh, shop at Amazon ever? No. Nope. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's happened. I always have people with Am- like, hey, can you order this for me? Do you have an Amazon account? I'll give you money. That's how I do Amazon. Yeah. That's how you do it? Yeah. No, I use Amazon Yeah, a lot. For can you order something what? for me? I have no, money. Just no, fuck me. you. Go okay. fuck yourself. I don't want to start an account. No. i got too many accounts already. Shut it. Listen, I like to read reviews before I buy a product. Okay. And our good friend, Russell Kirkpatrick, he sent us an email a while ago. We've been meaning to do this for a long time. Sorry, Russ. Anyways, he sent this to us a while ago, and it was a funny topic. He sent some products that were interesting and had some pretty good reviews, so I thought I'd bring them in and have Neebs read some good Amazon reviews. You have to read everything? I've read, you have to read Yeah, everything. good luck with that. Um, try to keep a normal tempo. Yeah, really. with your reading. Okay, yeah. maybe... maybe um, maybe we'll take turns. Yeah, we you didn't take, think yeah. this through. You don't, three. Okay, yeah, yeah. you've seen yeah. him read stuff. Everything because he is, reads everything, is everything a, like this. Everything's a muse to me. Oh, God. <laughs> he's going right. to kill this shit. All right, here we go. Here's the first product. Okay, yeah, I've seen it's, this uh, before. Yeah. Yeah. Hutzler 571 Banana Slicer. Yeah. There you go. Isn't and that instead insane? of cutting it like a normal person, <laughs> you <laughs> you buy this thing that your <laughs> kid ends up a breaking. A banana you could use like a, a popsicle stick yeah. to cut. You know, yeah. like... Right. Now listen, this a is thumb. a product I don't feel like I need. No, you don't. Not. Yeah, of no course, one... we, nobody should get Thus, this. Yeah. The comments. Yeah, it's but the stupid bullshit. That's I it. will say my apple slicer is priceless. Yeah, no, that is apple a slicer. great slicer. This, but this yeah. is yeah, an, but an, an apple, apple has a core. Yeah. Banana, say, you can eat the whole fucking thing. Right, you he's think already... I can use my apple slicer on this? Okay, no. carry on. All, All right. right, let's take a look at some of the reviews. Okay, Neebs. <laughs> For decades, I've been trying to come up That's with... That's not me. That That's just you. Like... <laughs> well, being you. Pretending to be him. Trying to read well. Poser. For decades, I have been trying to come up with an ideal way to slice banana. Use a knife. They say, will my parole officer won't allow me to be around knives. Shoot it with a gun for decades. Shoot it with a gun. <sighs> See, you he's going to he's gonna kill all this. As soon as you yeah. said you wanted him right. to read. Okay. Wait Have a you minute. not been it to a stream? It says shoot it for a gun. Where'd you get decades? No, a, Where the fuck no, he did went, your he went oh, back, right, to, the went back to the fucking, first sentence? Yeah. Okay. Second Wait parent. a minute. Shoot it with a gun. Background check. Hello, I have to resort to carefully attempt to slice those bananas with my bare hands. 99.9% of the time. I would get so frustrated that I just ended up squishing the fruit in my hands and throwing it against the wall in anger. Then, after a fit of banana-induced rage, my parole officer introduced me to this kitchen. Marvel and my life was changed. No longer consumed by seething anger and animosity towards thick-skinned yellow fruit. I was able to concentrate on my love of theater, and I am writing a musical play about two lovers from rival gangs. Dallas, please hold your questions <laughs> to the end. Just finish the Let fucking us- thing. It's a long, it's a story. What do you mean to do, skip words? Okay, back to where I was. About two lovers from rival gangs that just try to make it in the world, I think. I think I'll mm. call it South Side Story. Can I read the next one? Yes. Please. Absolutely. Because Please. You realize words take time to read, and there's a lot of them. Don't you fuck this up, Dorales. Now, what's the title of this? This one's called Saved My Marriage. <laughs> 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 there we go. What can I say about the 571B banana slicer that hasn't already been said about the wheel, penicillin, or the iPhone? This is one of the greatest inventions of all time. My husband and I would argue constantly over who had to cut the day's banana slices. (laughs) It's one of those chores no one wants to do. You know the old, I spent the entire day rearing our children. Maybe you can pitch in a little and cut these bananas. And of course, you think I have the energy to slave over your damn bananas? I worked a 12 hour shift just to come home to this? These are the things that can destroy an entire relationship. It got to the point where our children could sense the tension. The minute I heard our six-year-old girl in her bedroom reenacting our daily banana fight with her Barbie dolls, I knew we had to make a change. That's when I found the 571B banana slicer. Our marriage has never been healthier and we've even incorporated it into our lovemaking. Thanks, 571. Banana slicer. Well yes. done, Duralis. That was and great. Yeah, that's great. What? what do you want? Don't even defend yourself. The writer of that review was funnier than the writer of my 
review. Hey, you know what's funny? You're talking no. about right and play. No. Is the reader of that review was much funnier than the reader of your <laughs> review. Hey, it's the story. Some of these other uh, angle is wrong. <laughs> I tried the banana slicer and found it unacceptable. As shown in the picture, the slicer is curved from left to right. All of my bananas are bent the other way. <laughs> <laughs> All he's got to do is flip it. Yeah. This one, not Wi-Fi capable. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I can't get this thing hooked up to my Wi-Fi network. Am I supposed to slice bananas over an Ethernet cable? What is this, 2005? <laughs> I like the yeah. one where it ruins the uh, marriage. Like, yeah. That one's funny. Yeah, that yeah. one's funny. All right. That we're, was we're, really good. This, that was good. All right. To our next product. There's a book? <laughs> There's a book. Oh, good. <laughs> How to Avoid Huge Ships. That's a $74 That's, book. It is. That's what? pricey. Man, paper wow. Bag. Worth every penny. Let's take a look at the reviews. Too yeah, informative? Gonna read yeah. one. Oh, because that one's too lengthy for you? Yeah. I got the hard one. You got the easy one. I like the second one. I uh, read this book before going on vacation, and I couldn't find my cruise liner in the port. Vacation <laughs> ruined. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, reads like a whodunit. <laughs> <laughs> I bought How to Avoid Huge Ships as a companion to Captain Trimmer's other excellent titles. How to Avoid a Train. How to Avoid the Empire State Building. <laughs> These books are fast-paced, well-written, and, and the hard-won knowledge. Yeah, that's I can't read. The hard-won one. Yeah, the the hard hard knowledge nobody, found in them is nobody as gets inspirational on a thing. No, yeah, no, as, he, he as it, it is informational. After reading them, I haven't been hit by anything bigger. <laughs> After reading them, I haven't been hit by anything bigger than a diesel bus. Thanks, Captain. Yeah. Or the, the top one's very wordy, but I, I, I get what it, you know. <laughs> As the uh, father of two teenagers, I found this book invaluable. I'm sure their parents here can empathize when I say I shudder at the thought of the increasing presence of huge ships in the lives of my children. I certainly remember the strain I caused so long ago for my... The strain. See, I fucked up. I fucked up. Yeah, no, you can't. You can't do it perfect all the time. Maybe this next one. one. This For my parents, when I began experimenting with huge ships, <laughs> the long intercontinental voyages that kept my mom and dad up all night with worry. <laughs> Don't even get me started on the international protocols when transporting perishable cargo. To think I was even younger than my kids are now. Huge ships are everywhere, and it doesn't help that the TV and movies make huge ships seem glamorous and cool. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah. You should have started with that one. Yeah. The book yeah. helped me really approach the subject of huge ships with my kids uh, in an honest and non-judgmental <laughs> way. Because of the insights this book provided, I could sleep a little better and cope with the reality that I can't always be there to protect my kids from huge ships. No especially one's giving him crap about how long this is taking. I, uh, that's, I didn't want to do it. All right, moving on. Smiles. He's right going to edit I'm it. All, you're the only one having a problem with this. And he's jealous. It's like you're ganging up on me. I'm smiling the whole time. He's jealous because he I can did. read. No, you didn't. Uh, the product is the Auto Exec Wheelmate Steering Wheel Attachable Work Surface Tray. For when you're in your car and you need to use a laptop <laughs> or tablet. I mean, the obvious... Well, it's for when you're working in your yeah, car, sure, not for sure. when you're driving. Yeah, the obvious joke trips. is... Let's yeah, take a look is... at some of the reviews. Yeah. The first one's called a Perfect for a Starfleet Helmsman. Dude, you barely oh, got through the title. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it's from George Takai. I don't use Helmsman very much. <laughs> okay. My husband Brad always warns me not to try and update my Facebook page while I'm driving. You'll hit another pedestrian, he says. <laughs> this isn't the Enterprise. There isn't a deflector array. Then along Gosh. comes a miracle product like this. <laughs> I can now happily fly at warp speed down the streets of Los Angeles. Laptop or mobile device perched right in front of me so I can keep both eyes right on it and on the road. It's so much easier to ignore all the frightened screams and annoying honking when you've got a Facebook to look at while driving. Thank you, Will Mate. Oh, oh go. you did a good job reading and that comment. No, you I would... know it wasn't. There's a bad. It was badly written. You wouldn't believe no, how much more interesting my commute is now that I have something to do other than just stare out the window. <laughs> I'm using it right now to post this review, and I never... I never what? <laughs> that's where they crashed. That's, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the joke. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> well, you the way you read it, couldn't even tell there was a joke. Because I just died. There wasn't. It was, it was, the, it was the way it was written. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm so glad this product came along. Finally, I have a flat surface to use my Hutzler banana slicer. Oh, <laughs> while on the go. Oh, yes. Yes. 
<laughs> my, my favorite uh, part about that was Duralis's excitement when he yeah. saw that comment. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was yeah. 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 It was a monkey moment. sound. Great. It was yeah. it was great. It was good timing in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to go to another product, Neves? Please. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Uranium ore. <laughs> yeah. Thirty nine ninety five. Ooh, yellow cake. Top customer reviews. Uh, the first one. Poor packaging. I purchased this product four. 0.47 billion years ago, and when I opened it today, it was half empty. <laughs> <laughs> well, why was that funny? That's a science. Well, That's I'm sure joke. that just stays. Yeah. Is this a real product? You can buy it. No, but you can't buy it. It's not yeah, it's actually not, it's not real uranium. uranium. Well, what you can't is it? sell what it. It's illegal. It? It's What's a it joke. For? Look at this one. Four, four stars. Accidentally dropped it in my cat's water bowl on the plus side. <laughs> I now have a dog. <laughs> This was pretty good. Mix this in with rose fertilizer and have blooms nearly one foot in diameter. Drawback is I can't cut them as they growl at me whenever I get near them with scissors. And they've eaten several small birds and a stray kitten. I like the banana one because it was a real product. Next product, baby. Yeah. All right, next product. And can we get one of those banana things to the office? We can no, try. I've never seen one Put person on the eat a banana list. here. All right, the next product. Tuscan Dairy Whole Milk Vitamin D. Gallon, 128 ounces. Oh. And it's seventy-four dollars. How about this one? Combined with other foods, has anyone else tried pouring this stuff over dry cereal? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like the way the not to read it because it's forever, but the beginning of the one before it, the top it says he always brought home milk on Friday. That's the <laughs> opening yeah, line. That's, a, that's an intriguing <laughs> opening line. Yeah. It's like that's a, that's a wall of text, but now I want to I want to see where that goes. So this one's called hidden message. It says Tuscan whole milk can be rearranged to say, "I'll know mustache." Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> of course not. Two more step aside, li like like lines in that other one. Uh -huh. Over dinner that night, I casually inserted, "What happened to the milk?" Oh, he smiled sheepishly, glancing aside. I guess I forgot today. That was when I knew. <laughs> you know that Tuscan tired. milk's yeah. coming out at some point. Tired <laughs> he was tired of this life with me. Tired of bringing home the Tuscan whole milk. <laughs> One gallon, 128 fluid ounces. I have, I have what I... I, what I, want to read. Real. I can't get Hold through on. it. It's too stupid. Are you going to read that one, Neves? Yeah, this is a real review. This right. is, well, like, this this is like, fun. Everybody else trying to be funny. This guy's like, okay, product. But you have to buy a, cla a glass to use it. Yeah, don't get fooled by the easy to use look of this product. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's funny. This milk is easily twice as good as Tuscan half milk. <laughs> Save yourself some hassle and just spring for the whole. <laughs> Truly, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Thanks, Tuscan. Beautiful. Go. I think this one's another book. Let's Ooh. take a look. A million random digits. <laughs> yes. With 100,000 normal great. deviates. Dude, that is, that's brilliant. Wait, we can buy this new for $57.12. Or used. Dude, listen. Hardcover, 300 bucks. <laughs> I would love to have this on a coffee table in our office one that, day. Yeah. <laughs> a million random digits. <laughs> would be but great. Let's take a look at some of the reviews. This one says, almost perfect. Such a terrific reference work, but with so many terrific random digits, it's a shame they didn't sort them to make it easier to find the one you're looking for. Yeah. Wait for the audiobook version. <laughs> While the printed version is good, I would have expected the publisher to have an audiobook version as well. A perfect companion for one's iPod. Yes. The title of that one over there, number 537,163, Saved My Marriage. <laughs> uh, Gutenberg, bless you. <laughs> Another book for $470.25, the 2009 to 2014 outlook for wood toilet seats in greater China. This is so weird. My husband and I were just discussing the 2009 to 2014 outlook for wood toilet seats in greater China the other day. Now today, here I am serving Amazon, and wouldn't you know it, the 2009-2014 outlook for wood toilet seats in Greater China. I'm so happy the price seems reasonable. I'm thinking amazing anniversary present. Yeah, <laughs> it is reasonable. I like uh, makes a great gift. Yeah, although the study was only from 2009 to 2014, there is no doubt that this will become a timeless classic. <laughs> makes a great gift. <laughs> There's a lot of save my marriages. My wife and I were having an extremely heated debate about this a few days ago, but luckily I found this and and at a reasonable price. <laughs> I, 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 
That was good. Yeah. <laughs> Self yeah, that was great. This book would have been uh, better had they included 2008. What a year for wooden toilet seats that was. That uh, was. <laughs> yeah. It was a big year. Neems, can you read the title of this one? UFO Detector Internal <laughs> Magnetometer <laughs> Interface with Microcontroller for 24 hours, 7 days a week, monitoring of magnetic anomalies <laughs> that have been reported with many UFO sightings. <laughs> that was the best that you've done, that good. except yeah. you said... Animalies, Animalies, which yeah, makes anomalies. it anomalies. Thanks for watching. We gotta go. But he made it a better word. <laughs> <laughs>